Hey, Beatty. How's it going? Uh, today, I'm going to share a quick video with you about improvisation and the blues. Um, last week, we had a lesson about Hymn to Freedom, uh, written by Oscar Peterson, who's a jazz musician. And when we were doing our work on jazz and blues, we talked about how much a part of jazz and blues improvisation is. So today, um, I'm going to share a little bit with you how fun it is to improvise, how big a part of music that is. And I'm going to share for some of you, if you want to use this, share a little exercise in how to play some blues. So here we go. Um, so improvisation just means that you're taking an ostinato. So some of you know what that is. An ostinato is a repeated pattern. So that pattern can be more or less complicated. Sometimes that repeated pattern is a whole song played over and over again. Sometimes it's a really short little pattern. Okay. So in this case, the pattern that we're going to use is this one. I'm going to go like this. Whoa. Can you see my hands? But I'm going to make it lower because I like the sound of it down here. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to slow it down. I like a slower blues and it's going to be easier for me to improvise over that if it's a little slower. So hang on a sec, I'll turn it. Okay, so that's what my left hand is gonna do. Now my right hand needs something to do too. And there's kind of a cool thing in the blues. So when the people were when people were first making up blues uh, blues music, when they were first creating blues music, of course. They didn't say, okay, you know, here's what we're going to do. We're going to use these exact notes and that's how we're going to do the blues. And now we're going to go and construct the blues. Would have happened a lot more by feel and by intuition. But the cool thing about music is that we can actually, after having heard things a bunch of times, we can actually listen to it and go, oh, I see what they're doing. They're always using these notes to make this thing, whether it's classical music or blues, whatever it is, they're always doing this thing. So, um, so I want to show you the blues scale. So this is a blues scale in C. Here we go. Kind of cool, right? So, uh, for those of you who are interested in the notes or in the lesson for this week, I will uh, write down the notes of the blue scale. Um, the blue scale is great because it kind of gives us a surefire way to improvise over an easy pattern like this one. And if we only use the notes from the blue scale, we're always going to sound really bluesy. And in fact, those notes are notes that we should restrict ourselves to. So when we're improvising in the blues, for the meantime, as we get used to the blues, the blues scale is really all the notes that we should use. So let me try that and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to play. something totally different. I could just use two notes. <laughs> Sounds kind of different, right? But I like it. What about this one?
right hand, blue scale, left hand, C and G, and then C and A. So you can do improvisation in a bunch of different ways. A lot of you have seen me do my, um, right? One, six, two, five. We talked about that. Or one, six, four, five. We've talked about that before. Also make different things out of uh, patterns that we already know like heart and soul for example so I would like to challenge you to find a pattern you can do this with a piano you can do this by humming a pattern and playing the ukulele or playing a ukulele pattern and singing you can do it just using rhythm you can do one pattern you can do this in so many ways as long as you have a pattern then you can play over it and make some changes and find out what amazing things can happen. Okay, guys, have a fun week of music. <laughs> Bye.